All right, we are with Dean, Master Breeder Dean, and you're going to show us how to hook up, how to DIY a dimmer onto these Phoenix Stingray lights. Right. Now, first thing is a lot of disclaimers here. A lot of disclaimers. We don't want you to electrocute yourself, so keep them unplugged, <laughs> okay? Um, this is going to void the warranty. You'll never be able to take it back to Phoenix if it doesn't burn out. If you don't do it right, you can blow up the light and it won't work. So do so, it right. And we're gonna, we're gonna be doing some soldering, so be ready for that also. We're using the Stingray. This is the original, right? Not this the is the original. Too. And this will also, from what I found, will not work on the second Stingray. Interesting. I found that this worked on the Stingray totally by accident, just testing, playing some stuff, playing with some stuff. So I don't know if this specific way, but there's a way to do this on multiple lights at the same time? Yeah, but the dimmer I'm using here is single. Okay. In my fish room, I did it with a different one. We can actually show that one. That, that would probably actually end up being a different video. I used this dimmer where I wired a separate power supply. I literally cut that power supply off and did one power supply for a whole bank of lights. We were, we're not going to play with that today. We'll do that on another time maybe. And what we're going to do is attack this light here. Um, first, going to get this cord out of my way. One of the things you need to notice on the cord is you've got a rib side and a smooth side on the cord itself. You'll see the ribs. All lamp cord, which is what this is called, has that. And when we're going through this whole process, you have to keep the rib side and the smooth side in the same orientation as you're coming through this dimmer. If you don't, you're either going to burn the lights out or they just won't work. So first thing I'm going to do is cut the cord. Phoenix, sorry, I just voided your warranty. Disclaimer. <laughs> that was it. I just voided the warranty. I'm going to move this out of the way for right now. And then we got to take this guy apart. Comes apart with two screws in the back and then it just kind of pops off like so. So inside, I don't know, can they? Can that be seen right there? Yep, it'll autofocus on. This is what you're looking at inside. Two wires coming in, come here. Two wires going out, come here. And we're gonna desolder both of those and rehook up uh, from the power supply. And then we'll see it all work. Spectacles, so I may see. I'm using a, what do you call this? A cordless soldering iron? Sure. Kind of works. If it's cordless. <laughs> While that's warming up, I'm going to take and strip the ends of this wire just a little bit. I believe the official word for the next step I'm going to do is called tinning. Taking a little bit of flux and some solder. Let's see. Okay. Of course it went out. There we go. Paper towel. Thank you. Okay, so we're coming from the light to the on side. So I'm going to take these off first. The smell always makes me nervous. The smell? Burning electronics. Yeah. <laughs> now, so I happen to know that in this case, the black, um, you got a black and a red lead here. The black is going to correspond to the ribbed lead on the on the light. So I just gotta follow that and put that on here. Professional one, solder skills. One side done. Then we're gonna come over here and take these two leads off. Sorry, I got hooked up there. Can you see that okay? Yep. And now we're dealing with the power supply side. And I'm just going to strip those wires and tin them, and we should be good to go. There are um, wire strippers, but I'm assuming that not everybody has them. <laughs> Lamp cord is pretty easy to strip. Yeah. So again, here I'm going to apply a little bit of flux.
So this is what we, this is the part that we call the, the tinning part. It's where you're basically getting some solder in and on that wire. Now again, the, the black wire was on the outside, so I gotta make sure I put the ribbed wire on that. So the ribbed wire go on the outside here. So that's basically the circuit is wired. Before I put this back together, I want to plug it in. Not going to touch the back of the circuit board and shock myself. And make sure that the light lights. If you see sparks, <laughs> you know that I did this wrong. Okay, so now it's time to get the cover back on. You have to kind of route the wire down here through these little slots. Cover only goes on one way because the screws go in those holes, the lower holes, and you have other holes that are to align it. It's a little bit of a challenge, but once you get it all in place, it'll just all of a sudden just click on there like so. Whenever you're screwing these into plastic, make sure you don't over tighten where you strip it. It's really easy to do. I'm a firm believer. You know, when, when I used to get a new bicycle when I was a kid, I would tear it apart before I ever rode it. <laughs> and then put it back together. Now you're a professional, so there's really no need, but probably test it before you put it back together. But we know you got it right. Maybe. Um, Pressure's on now. Yeah, so let's just see. We're going to come on here. I'm not sure if that was on or off. There you go. So. Dim. On. All the way to bright. On camera, this might just show on and off. Oh, no, it shows the dimming, yeah, if you, now, if you go slow. Now, this switch, this also has a all the way off. So you don't have to use so the switch. So you don't have to use a switch. Nice. So just on. Nice little Makes DIY sense. hack. There you go. How much is that part on Amazon, do you know? I believe these are three for $13. Oh, well, that's not bad. Or 13 and some change. Um, so it's not, not horribly expensive. And these are great, inexpensive, I think. So, like, if you take my fish room, those lights have been running down there for over five years now. I've never had one burnout. I've, I have bought some of the other ones from Amazon that are already in the garbage can. Yeah, so, like, my beams works. They're cheap and they're nice, but after, like, a year, they start to get dim. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yep. So, anyways. So, yeah, good. Thank you for that, Dean. All right. Take so. that where it is. And remember... Don't electrocute yourself. <laughs> Be careful with the soldering iron. There, there probably is another way you could do this with um, squeeze fittings. Uh, I would not recommend it. It's not just not as safe. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you, sir. You bet.